Hello there, and welcome to another video. Flying for the virtual airline, SkyTeam Virtual. Flying the Transavia livery here. And we have a short flight here from France all the way down to Lisbon. An airport nearby the coastline here as well. Interesting departure, interesting arrival, I guess. So we'll see. Um, we got the plane in a full cold and dark mode as required for the virtual airline. So we're going to start up switching on the battery. Very power on as well, and then we can go over here. Uh, FS actions, ground services request the ground power. Go back again to the overhead panel. There is a short key for the overhead, I know, but I keep forgetting it. All right, ground power is available. Switching on ground power. Switching on the over the window heats, and moving over here. Click, 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 both the IRSs, alright, and then we go down to the FMC again, menu, FMC, position, yep, that's the one I was waiting for, pick this GPS position, and place it over there, go to route, the request flight plan, we got six flight plans here, and we need the FLF, RS, LPPT, which is this one, select, request the flight plan. Alright, that's going on as well. Then we can uh, overhead window heats, RS, FMC, yes, set up route, yes, switch on the fuel pumps. Okay, we're going to start up the APU here, switch on the APU, click, there we go. Takes some time as well, so we'll get the APU up and running. Notice here, if you slowly coming alive. Okay, waiting for the APU to start up. Uh, root uplink ready. Load that one. Root uplink loading. Go back to the overhead panel. Take some time for the APU to come alive. And continue a little bit more on our route here root data uplink I'm gonna activate that one execute all right we go from runway 21 so bring up over there go to uh, menu and uh, no FMC yeah uh, departure arrival yes departure is gonna be runway 21 was set like I said and I have to look over here EG Yes, we are. That's the one. And execute. Go back to index. Arrivals. Gonna be ILS. Runway 21. ILS 21. And then with arrival. Uh, start in O. In Boo. In Boo. Something like that. Yeah, that's the one. Star. And execute again. Go to Lex. Gonna check this Lex black page here, there's one discontinuity as expected, bring it up there, and execute. Um, then I like to set up the performance page, not like fully the official way, but we might get somewhat closer now with this EFB running here, so we'll see. Um, up here we can take the APU power, switch on the APU bleed. Um, That's it for the overhead tunnel for now. You can go to menu again, FS actions, ground service. You can release the ground power. Go back to the FMC. I'm gonna set the parking brake already. Keep the brakes pressed, and then you can enable the parking brake right there. All right, we're gonna bring up our ATC men menu. Turn on ground uh, clearance, which is number Not two. Not Transavia 738 IFR to Lisbon, ready to copy. Our weight we can get from uh, nope FS actions payload which is 163.3 163.3 There we go reserves we're gonna pick a random number that's just fine for now cost index for this flight is 30 30 gonna acknowledge the ATC here Transavia 738 Take off runway 21 climb and maintain 6,000 feet Six. Departure on one two three decimal seven five squawk three zero six four. 
and they're gonna request us to 6,000 feet, but our sim brief telling us here to go to 31,000. So we're gonna bring up 31 here, and we can adjust it later on anyway. 31, I'm gonna close ATC for now. It wants to close, there we go. 31, so we're gonna set our cruising altitude to 31. Thousand. There are different ways to uh, fill it in here, but anyway, that's fine. Clear that message. And we'll take off. We're gonna go with flaps heading five. We've got a V1, VR, V2. Are they corresponding over here? Nope, they're not. So we're gonna go 149 over there. We're gonna go 150 over there. And we're gonna go. Hold on, VR. Yeah, and then V21454. Slight difference right there. Alright. That's it for the performance plate for now. Go back to our legs and then we should get our 31,000 right there. Alright, that's good. That's set up. Clear that one. And check my self made checklist here. Some yeah, okay, we're gonna bring up GSX. And we're gonna request our pushback. Prepare for pushback and departure. Alright, gonna wait a little bit here for GSX to start up. Sometimes it's taking a little bit of time, don't overrush it now because it is working. Gonna close these doors so already. So there we go, GSX is up and running finally. Uh, one nose to the left, and then we're gonna request remove PMG chokes, wheel chokes. That's strange because they should be re re removed already. And then release parking brake. All engines clear, start at will. The sound for some reason I cannot get it working, I don't know why. Alright, so all fuel pumps on. Starting up number two. Coming alive there slowly. And the fuel. We got FS Realistic here running as well at the same time, so. I tried some new settings there, so we're gonna see how that's gonna work out. Gonna turn up some brightnesses here. A few more. There we go. And this one. And one more. Waiting for the click on number two. Oh, a little too much right there. And that one all the way. Alright. There we go. Click. And number one. Please set parking brake. That one we can do. Add fuel. A little early there. Right, they want us to give a good engine start, we're gonna do so already, even though number one is still pulling up. Alright, what's going on there? Confirm a good engine start. Looks like the whole... Oh, I thought for a second, fly by wire was stopping there, but we're still good. Going to zoom in a little bit here. Right, that's it. Switching on ground service here. Request taxi Not IFR. We're going to finish up a few things here IFR. on the overhead panel. Leads to auto. APU bleed off. APU off. Fuel damper on. Hydraulic pumps on. Arms. Cover closed. Broke heat on. One final check. Okay, logo on, anti collision wing, taxi lights on. Left is clear, right is clear. Right, waiting for our guy here to show up. There he goes. I'm always too early with uh, releasing the parking brakes, but we're gonna wait patiently for our guy to wave his hand and. Yeah, uh, yeah, alright. That's the, yeah, that's very good. 
Bye bye. Or, yeah, there we go. All right. Most of the time, then it's okay to release. Have a good trip. Yep. All right, we can release the parking brakes. Pull up the engines here a little bit to get it going. And we need a left turn and then that direction. So. the ATC menu right there. Alright, few more things. Out of brakes to RDO. Flaps gonna go to five. Oh. One, two, three. Flight path effects are on. Gonna bring back the engines here a little bit. Right, gonna do quite some things here. Flight directors on. Turning this one for the TCAS. There we go. You see, oh, range is okay. Okay, we can engage LMF, VNAV. We wait a little bit here. Can switch on terrain here on the that side already. We can switch on the TCAS there as well. And over here, we're going to switch on terrain and data for our waypoint data right there. All right, so we got the. Flaps set, we're gonna check this list here one more time, that's all good, yep, yeah, alright. Uh, ground speed for taxiing here, taxi speed is fine, 18, might climb a little bit more, that's okay. Get our legs page here again. Alright, gonna bring up the speed a little bit, 220. Switching on tower. Nods Tower Transavia 738 ready for departure runway 21 IFR to Lisbon. Alright, I guess we got our clearance. Yeah, alright, text lights on. Uh, landing lights, sorry. Bring up the engines a little bit again. Acknowledge the ATC there. Close the ATC menu. So we're going to take off flying with the Honeycomb Alpha Yoke here. Uh, get going on the flight directors for a little while. And then we'll see when we engage the autopilot. Alright, flaps set at 5. I'm right, going to cut the power here again. Turn here. All right, here we go. Lining up. All right, line up more or less. Gonna bring up the engines to 40, about 40. There we go. They're pulling up equally, touching 40. 41 and dropping and going full. Airspeed alive. Airspeed alive. Eight knots. Check. Transavia 
We can enable the VNF. There we go. And I'm gonna engage the autopilot. F5, all flaps away, auto throttle on. And there we go, plane is flying itself. Auto brakes off, landing gear to the off position. I'm gonna take a nice passenger view here for a moment. Just for the last bit of flaps right there. And going back to the. Oh, 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 oh not that fast. All right, and on the way we are. All right, gonna open up the ATC here. Are we going for a flight level already? Not yet. All right, no way. It's here. Sixteen thousand. All right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's that one. I'm gonna bump up the range here a little bit now. Got a nice route here. Turn down the brightness a little bit more. Got some nice weather preset here. An early morning. And for that, it should be an early morning, right? There we go. If someone is really bored at the development, maybe it's nice to have these windmills turning not like all exactly the same. Like these three is fine. I know it's something small. <laughs> I know. I know. It's silly, but uh, if you got a whole row of them, it look it looks, yeah, a little bit so so. I don't know. It's a small thing. I know. I know. But just something there. Gonna wait till we get to flight level clearance, and then I'm gonna stop recording most likely. Coming up to 10,000 feet here, soon. That's our mark for switching off the landing lights. 9,800 to 900, and that's it, 10,000. Landing lights can come off right there. I'm gonna bump up the, this one towards 31 already. There we go. Banking left here. I think this is four. Yeah, that's four. Must be an interesting departure flying like this as a passenger to see it. A few turns and stuff like that. Alright, we're still not clear for flight level. Right Came down a little bit here to get up to airspeed. Or airspeed, actually, this is our true airspeed here. Come up to speed, and then we start pitching up again, as you can see here by our vertical speed. Gonna increase the range a little bit here. I don't got any traffic nearby. Our top of climb is quite far, I think. Oh, no, not too bad. A yeah, 80, like I said. Alright, and we are at our runway, more or less. Oh, 0820, 0820, yes. Quite a flight, but interesting. An interesting one. Alright, we're still not going to a flight level. We're climbing for 16. So what we got in this EFB, 
more electron electronic flight back. All right, that's nice. Well, I don't get I don't have sim brief, so um, you need to set up sim brief somewhere here. You can log in to sim brief, sign in, Navigraph, Navigraph, and then you get the Navigraph charts and stuff like that. So this is this is actually the very first time I'm looking into this. That that one I want on for sure because typing in the um, the stuff with the keyboard is 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 activating all kind of stuff. I right, go back to home. Google this page. In here. Okay, that's fine. You can get layers. Um, somewhere set up. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. There we go. Flight level two four zero. Flight level two four zero. that one? We're still climbing. All right. So I hope you like this departure here so far. Um, maybe I'll make a separate video about the approach, the actual approach, or we'll uh, merge it both into one video. We'll see how it's gonna work out with the length of the video. Right, we're on the way here, everything looking fine, and I'll see you on the approach. Thanks for watching already.